They have no listeners. No one knows it's coming. Oh, there we go. Let's all duck down. Let's wait and see. Big head. Hello. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Right, that was stressful. I've got a drink. That was stressful. <laughs> Look how long it took us to get this sorted. Oh, yeah. Nearly gone. It's fair to say we've been having some technical issues. We're not even sure if you can hear us. Yeah. But there is no one there, so this is just for posterity later. Where are your microphones? Hey. Oh, we have one. Who is it? Who is it? Reveal yourself. YouTube box 7674 has entered the conference. Peter Morgan. <laughs> has left the conference. Alistair Hodge. Has left the conference. Is there any reason for me being here? No. Two people. Like two. Two people. So, um, is it, we can one, put it on one, your iPad. One, one, always gone. Yeah. On, your, on your iPad, and we can see the comments next to the thing. Can you do that? Can you yeah, hear us, though? What we need to know is you can actually hear us. Because the sound level here is. Hi. Two. So if you can hear us, um, give us some signal. Give us a sign. Give us a sign. Oh, well, Jeff's looking up on his Mac now. There's a nice thingy. Comments, look. Top chat. Chat viewing options. No viewing options there. Okay, well, are you going to introduce yourselves? No. It's very loud. It's very, um, let's see. Let's see us. That's what's spooky. Yeah. yeah. Fact like me, you're all like a pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> a massive Swede, though. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I'm more of a parsnip myself. <laughs> so, sorry, We're in Covent Garden in, in London. London. The porterhouse. Yay! Yes. Hi, Mark. Oh, oh harsh, harsh. 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 Have fun, see you later. Goodbye. Well, we know we can be here, which is good. Yeah, so we've had a, it's fair to say we've had a few technical. Uh, Problems. Yes. Yes. But um, we have managed. To, we've managed. <laughs> we've managed to get online now. So good evening, everyone, from the Porterhouse Pub in London. One of the the largest pub in London. Is that right? Well, that's that's his claim to fame. It's yeah. the largest pub in London. I pointed out to the guys earlier on the last time I was here was 20 years ago, which is also the first time I was in this pub. My first ever work trip. For BT? Yeah, for BT. Yeah. Came up to London, I met my friend and came here. So, uh, Damien, if you're out there. I'm giving up on that. Okay. So, uh, it's a lovely pub, it's a lovely place. I don't even remember what I'm drinking now. I need to get another drink. Yeah, so. Oh, you know what you're drinking. Paul and I are drinking Tempest Medium Tempted. Tempted. Tempted not as good as I thought it was. Tempest Medium Dry. It's alright now. You didn't uh, like it when you started uh, first, here, did you? First taste was a bit too dry for me, but it's got better. It's got better. Yeah. It's got a bit watered down as our ice has melted. Yeah. So. It's a nice refreshing summer drink. Mm -hmm. I think it's, got, it's an IPA. It's got stone IPA. It's a bit warm now. It's taken so long trying to get this technology working. I should try and turn this on as well. I was quite impressed. I've never, I thought of uh, Jeff as a technical scrum master at all. But he really showed his cross-functional skills this evening with wireless microphones and laptops and streaming products. I did all right. You did well. You did well. Yeah. Mr. YouTube. You did well. Yeah. It, it just turns out that YouTube's just a bit evil sometimes. Do I have to do it? I keep forgetting. Yeah. Porterhouse, yeah, the porterhouse, which um, to me reminds me of steak. Well, yeah, I thought there was going to be some sort of steak restaurant. Yeah, look at that. I'm, going to, I'm going to move the camera. Look, look at the look at the walls here. All these different cool beers. It was on forever. It's quite a nice, but nice looking pub, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Tip. And we just we didn't, we didn't we didn't know you were in town. You didn't know we no, no. no all coincidence. Yeah. So we have to say, let's get down and um, spend an it's hour big. playing. Have you got to give Nigel and Paul. Oh, yes. oh yeah. His T-shirt. <laughs> Official Agile Podcast merch. So, uh, you get one of these t-shirts. Cheers. Cheers. It's very good. It's a very good fit, actually. All joking aside, it's, 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 it's a nice time. How did, how did we get one of these shirts? <laughs> well, well, funny to say. So, these are our, for our, Patreon, our patrons, for our Patreon members, they get one of these free shirts. Oh. And some lots oh. of other. Um, Merchandise. So, so frankly, I don't understand what else you would want beyond 
declaring your love for Agile and pubs yes. uh, via a t-shirt-based uh, product. Yes. So we, we kind of had Nigel's shirt ceremony with us this evening. He, uh, Sky Sports were here to watch him uh, receive his, his shirt for oh, yes. the first time. Yeah, the cameras yeah. around. Paparazzi yeah. were following him all the way here. Serious is the podcasting. Yeah, so it's wonderful, it's wonderful. Uh, Babe Powell, thank you so much. Thank you. I'll play nice. Our favourite special guest. Yeah. Our only special guest. Our only other special guest. Only, I think. Oh, that's it. You got Emma? Yeah. yeah, a long time ago. Oh, okay. We should get some more. De- desperate for new material, really, aren't we? Yeah. Desperate. So what, what's what's new? Nigel, no, you're on recovery. Yes. You're doing well. Thanks. Yes, I have had not a great week so far. I wasn't very well earlier in the week. I don't normally get ill, and I got ill, and so for the first time in ages, I had to cancel work, which I hate. Absolutely hate. Um, it's something that just, I feel I'm letting people down, and it just, oh, it hits me in the box. So I will never cancel if I have to, but I just couldn't it physically work. It must have work. been bad for you to cancel, must have, Yeah. Because I know that you've been on courses before when you've been pretty rough. Yeah, yeah. And it must be have been pretty bad for you to go back to your hotel room and say, Die for a day, yeah. Just quit, yeah. just tap yeah. out. Yeah. So. I got down to reception, basically. Did you? Uh, with all my materials, and I thought I can't go another step. I can't, I can't teach, I can't talk. And so I had to just go back up. Um, but it was interesting because I was talking earlier on. So Jeff has put out a variety of materials and books. They're all very good because you buy them. Uh, but you often post stuff on imposter syndrome. Yeah. Which, to my shame, I've never felt, obviously. Uh, but you do <laughs> obviously. It's, it's terrible, isn't it? Arrogant, obviously, massive, I've never like, felt like an imposter. Yeah, so, obviously. So, but it's like, look at me. Um, but you do a lot of stuff on people pleasing. Yeah. And people pleasing is something I very much try and do. Yeah. I'm very much a people pleaser. And so that really sort of hit that part of me when I couldn't do the work. I was like, I felt really, really wretched about it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I didn't worry about how people felt about me. I wanted to not let people down. Yeah. It was really hard. Yeah. Did, did, uh, did your client assuage your concerns? That, that's, that's an interesting conversation. I'm sure that will all be worked out. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm sure because it's an unavoidable... Yeah, it happens. It happens, yeah. 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 It's an inevitable thing. The fact that you've, you've hardly ever had to cancel yeah. is yeah. amazing, yeah. really. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm famously the person, and this is not a recommendation, but I worked the day after my mother died. Did you? Uh, Oh so, yeah, I was on a plane when she died. I thought I knew she was going to die. But still, I couldn't not not travel. I had lots of people around. So I had to do the work. Is it public course? Yeah, public yeah. course. I, I thought I had to do it. Um, so that was hard. That was did really you, hard. No, did you acknowledge it on the course? Yes. Okay. I told everyone at the start. I actually did a little declaration of celebration of my mum at the start. Did you? And so everyone was very kind. But the best thing was, so I was in the hotel, getting ready to start the course, feeling as you would, very bad. Yeah. And one of the women who uh, runs the hotel, the, the, the business side of it, came in to see how I was. I mentioned what happened. And she came back with a cappuccino for me. Oh. And so I just got this view, just thinking about you sort of thing. Nice. And it was such a small thing, a cappuccino. It was such a sweet thing. It was the one moment of, you know. So it was very beautiful, actually. So, yeah, so for me, really hard. But I think, generally, that's one of my weaknesses, people pleasing, I would say. It's a good thing. Yeah, it's better than being a people hater. Yeah. <laughs> Going around obsessing people with the hell Some people do. Yeah. We all know people who do. They get pleasure from the, um, from the, the chaos they cause. Other people's pain. Yeah. Well, so, um, yeah. I know someone who did, again, this one gonna get details wrong, but they did a course on something, I think it's called The Artist's Way or something. Now, I don't know all the details, but it's like a self-help course. Um, but one of the things they talk about on that course is um, what they call crazy makers. These are people who like just cause disruption in your life. They're, I think they're very centre focused. They're like they literally like a come in and shake up your world and don't let you take control of your own destiny. And so a lot of that um, artist way learning is like how do you create your own space for yourself? They call them artist dates. For instance. Go and do your own thing. You allow it. Yeah. You don't always have to be a mother, a father, a parent, a child. You can have your own time to do your own thing. And it's sort of almost teaching you to be selfish, which yeah. is interesting because some people don't need to be taught that. But I thought it was quite powerful in terms of some of us who don't sometimes think of ourselves enough. Well, we had that quite recently, well, yesterday in fact. So part of our advanced Scrum Master class, we require people to do some research yeah. and some work outside of the classroom in order to get certified. So we, have to, we give them some stuff to go away and learn and 
reflect on and basically they have some homework to do and they get a time box to do it and some of them do it quite quickly and some of them don't and one person left it to the very last minute and I, was, I said well I'm just looking through where it looks like it's a bit rushed and she said well yeah I, I, took, I basically deprioritized it there was so much else going on at work it was more important for me to do all this other stuff than it was for me to do stuff for myself and so Paul said I was a little bit a little bit patronising in my response. They basically said, you, know, you do need to put yourself first yeah. now and again because yeah. if you can't serve yourself, if you're not developing yeah. yourself, you're not going yeah. to be of service to anybody else. Yeah. And I think that's something that those in the helping professions yeah. are traditionally not very good at. And the Scrum Master is, a, is one of those helping professions. There's two classic lines in that, isn't there? Put your oxygen mask on, yep. or you help anyone else, or uh, what's there, a mummy bear. Like, um, mu- if mummy bear dies, baby bear dies. So mummy bear has to eat first, because yeah. otherwise there's no point at all. So that's all self-care first. How have you been, Paul? I'm all right, mate. Good for a run. Tried to. That's self-care. What do you mean, tried to? Well, you either did or you didn't. There is no try. There's five flights of stairs to walk up before I, I get my kit on and then go, out, go down five, five flights of stairs to run. Yeah. Jeff and I are staying in. Not at worst, one of the worst hotels is, is, is a bit harsh, but. The most basic. One of the most basic hotels we've been It's the smallest room I've ever been in. Well, no, the second smallest room I've ever been in. But it's very small. Ah. There, there's no wardrobe. Uh, no safe, nowhere to put your clothes apart from yeah. There's like four hooks. Yeah. The, the shower wall. is in the room, isn't it? So the shower's in the room. A... And you, you guys are top and tailing in. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's three Country rooms on the fifth floor, floor. Yeah. and we're in two of them. Oh, wow. um, but it's, yeah, no lift, no... Uh, there's a lot of what we might call threshold features that aren't present. <laughs> like Paul, Paul's a big fan of landlines in hotel rooms, aren't they? But there's no landlines. Look, so there. case in point, very good example yeah. here, right? You get ill, Yeah. you're in a hotel room. Yeah. I think you need to be able to phone an ambulance or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. whatever that yeah. I, think, I think there is a service that the hotel should provide that you can do that yeah. without having to provide your own phone. Yeah. I think that's what you're paying for. You, do, you look like you disagree. Uh, Everybody's got a mobile phone. Oh, really? Yeah. The man who doesn't, who doesn't deal in absolutes. <laughs> uh, so. Only the Sith deal in absolutes. <laughs> Thank you, Nigel. That's a Star Wars reference. And yeah. also incorrect in terms of the Star Wars mythology. <laughs> no, but I think, for me, those basics are um, something I, I think you still need. I think. Oh, it's mainly because I need to always ring down and get an ironing board. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> So, so last night I had to, in the hotel, find the hotel on Google, find the hotel phone number on Google, ring the hotel that I was in on the front of my phone, yeah. and uh, say, oh, hi, I'm actually staying Um, we are having some technical difficulties here because we don't know what. We're just going to get a beer. Here he comes. It's kind of like a technical opportunity. What have we got, Jack? Fuel. Hello. Hello. Well, I'm really champ. This is a good angle for my That's double chins. Angle. Yeah, it makes me feel like. <laughs> and yeah, yeah. Hello. <laughs> I'm gonna think of him. I have no idea. This is no one on anyone's animals are running out of the room. Doing it for the world. Welcome back. Where were we? What were we talking about? We were rudely interrupted by technology. It was irritating. The hotel? Hotel. Yeah, so I mentioned people pleasing ages ago about how uh, that's a weakness of mine, and we're able to a variety of discussions on that type of aspect in our lives. Yeah. And you said about people pleasing not being the worst thing in the world. Yeah. Better be the people hate her, yeah. being an iconoclast or a troublemaker. You've got to have a balance. Yeah. If you, uh, if you have no intentions to please other people, you're going to not be very well liked, and you're not going to be very well accepted, you're going to build rapport. But yeah. 
if you put everybody at the at their expense of you, you're gonna screw it, you're gonna burn out you're gonna be taken for granted. Yeah. So how do you rate yourself on the people who the score? I'm quite yeah. I worry about making sure everyone's happy. Quite a lot. Quite high. Yeah. I'm also quite high in the imposter syndrome. How do you find doing training for them? Well, I think, I think actually, in fact, training helps. Mm -hmm. So I, I've, I've had a couple of months where I haven't been doing a lot of training. Yeah. And if anything, my imposter syndrome has got has grown. Yeah. Because you, you're more separated mm -hmm. from doing people who are doing work. Yeah. So I think when I go back to it, certainly yeah. the first course back after work, some time off, it's quite... Oh, oh yeah. 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 No, I've never done that. Who would do that? Who's got the agile thing? What I find interesting is when you forget your pattern, your stage path. So if you do a course too much, it's very easy to get in. Not in a rut, but you've got a certain way of doing something, a certain way of articulating it. Um, and if you have a big break and you forget those little patterns you built up, and you make it seem slightly fresher as well. So I find that. But it's harder on us because obviously pattern is much easier to move the course. Yeah. Easier, but also a bit monotonous. Yeah, yeah, well, Peter probably don't think it's what you don't want. Well, I've got a guy today who I trained eight years ago, of course. Really? So it's interesting for me just over my own head thinking back about how the course is different and it's the same over the eight years. What other things have been added, subtracted, what conversations have moved on, which are, you know, still very similar. I thought that's, that's quite interesting in my own head. I want to sort of tell the attendees. I'm not sure they took the interest in this, you know, it's not for them, but for me it was quite interesting to change over time. Yeah. <laughs> so, what you said where we are? Tell them, Nice. Tell them, God, it's the lemon tree, isn't it? Yeah. Is that? About a lemon tree? Uh, well, it's called the lemon tree. Uh, we're on Covent Garden still, I think. Uh, we're very next to Charing Cross Police Station. Yeah, so we're in Charing Cross. 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 We should be in bed. We've had our first show. Yeah. It's, it's our last thing just because of, we couldn't get the technology working very well. So. But what interests me to finish off the evening? Were you saying you were surprised us with something earlier Can you give us some news earlier you, you always know more about what's going on in the world. No, no there's some things we talk about offline that have to stay offline. <laughs> okay. if you remember what they were. And nothing to do with me, by the way, but there's some things you have to do offline. Um, but, no, not that fun. But I think, well, we're talking about New York. The, the opening for New York, the New York Scrum Gathering has got its. Um, yeah, the four week window. Four week window to submit now for next April, is it? Yeah. Things. That's a long time in advance. It's about, it's about being relevant, isn't it? Yeah. Things that you want to talk about now, now might not be relevant. Yeah. 12 right. months is a long time in the Agile space. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's going to be a frozen. So I, I'm not impressed with that. Sorry, sorry to go my lines. When you, when you did that reflection of yeah. talking yeah. about eight years Yeah, that's fine, that's fine, yeah. So 80% is still relevant, 80% Well that's true, but would that be 80% of the conference? Surely a conference is supposed to be new, different, and unusual, not standard in the past. So, um, I, I would suggest that... We've got to remember, well, well, let's say, theoretically, hypothetically, yeah. I started writing a book. Hypothetically? Hypothetically. Yeah. That would still be relevant in my Yes. You hope? But then books are very different media. Yeah. So it's a conversation. For the content. The content yeah. I write the book. But, yeah, but that, again, that's a different media, different thing. It's like saying uh, a pop song is different to a novel. But it is, they're two different things. A pop song is like a real visceral feel. Like, well, I'm saying I could, I could submit a session the next day based on what I'm writing Yeah. Yeah. However, you could 
there wouldn't be all the session blood. You need that soft new session. You can't have all that stuff. You've also got to bear in mind that we tend to see these conferences through our own lens. You've got people there who are going to be turning up that have never been to a gathering before. Yeah. And they want, they're going to enjoy the basics. Well, I told you about, I'm not going to mention it on this because it's my little secret. Uh, my idea for my New York submission. Oh, the one about. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> um, but I think that that is very much back to basics. Well, I think it'll be useful for a lot of you attendees. Those people last with all of our eyes in it, much as you did when you heard the idea. <laughs> um, but I think uh, I think that's kind of cool. So yeah, there is a you are just thanks for that. I, I provided you with the yes sir. You did. You really helped me out with it as well. So yes. again, we're being two. It's the basic unit of. It is, yeah. Is right? yeah. It's, it's based around the offer from Him of Comedy, <laughs> which is, he should buy his book, it's very good. Um, yeah, I know. Every day is a school day. Like Every day is school day. Yes, Anne, I love Yes, Anne. I love Anne. I'll watch it on social media. Um, so, yeah, so for me, I think that, yeah, they want to pitch that, but I think there does need to be a later window to give you more opportunities. You also think, yeah. come up with ideas. You know? I wonder, I mean, I know nothing about it, I haven't even seen the court papers on you. I wonder whether they are opening themselves up for curating a few, like the portion. Whether the corporate yeah. papers is for, say, 80%, yeah. they've saved themselves to 80%. Yeah. I, I think there's been a lot more curation of those gatherings than they've ever used to be, which I think is a good thing. Um, but uh, my concern is they're doing it very early, so the people who get in can organise their work life around it, which is nice. I just think it could be sub optimization in the market. Is it earlier than the usual? It's so much earlier. Does it feel that much earlier? But it feels like the window is just about shorter. Oh, yeah, four weeks window is very short. Yeah, around the Christmas January. Yeah, the windows used to be a lot longer. Yeah, it used to be a lot longer on the windows. A month isn't very long. And it's all right, it's the middle of the holiday season, so I'm going to have to do mine before I go on the Oh. We should definitely resubmit the one we submitted for Venice. I thought it was brilliant. <laughs> didn't get, we, Paul, Paul and I did one genuinely for Venice. I think it's genuinely amazing. Didn't and it didn't get in. I was very disappointed. Um, so we should definitely reapply that one because I think America would be a better fit for it. What was it? Oh, it's. Um, oh, can we say on this? Uh, <laughs> it's Paul and I's one on pairing. About um, the using uh, pairing in a variety of different settings, mainly involving professional wrestling levels. Um, but the idea not just pairing in. In terms of like pair programming, pair coaching, pair training, different styles of pairing, different models of pairing in different industries. Yeah. So I'm bringing those all into our industry and how we can use them and how people use them in the past. Okay. All through the medium of pairing. So that's the idea. Don't steal it, it's ours, not yours, ours. Alright? So, uh, what's the message? Pairing's good. Pairing's good. So you'd have to come to it now, that's fine. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. Uh, so if you had to submit, Jeff, what would you submit? I don't know. Really well. I, I need to think. I probably get into the mindset if I were if I were writing a book. If you if you were if writing, I was a book. writing a book. If you was writing a book. What would I write a book on? And, and then maybe frame the subjects around that, I would imagine. It's a pity you're not writing a book really, isn't it? Really? I'll put some points. I've got a lot of time to think about. No, not a lot of time. Yeah. Four weeks, four weeks, four weeks. Okay. Four weeks. Yeah. It's my birthday this week. Oh wow! Thirty. Yeah. God. Looking great. Thirty years old. How old actually, really? Um, it's a big one. Is it the big one? <laughs> is it the big one? <laughs> the big one. Oh, there are plenty of big ones. Every year's a big one. Gosh. Really? Oh, he's got so old. <laughs> I remember the big one. Grey hairs. Yeah. I looked in the mirror the other day. I'm going proper. My beard's getting grey. I thought well, I, saw, be... I saw him make an animated character of you today. And I had to make a decision on what colour hair. Just get, ba- get the badger from the badger. Remember those old badger videos? <laughs> badger, <laughs> badger, 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 badger. No, the, 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 there's those mine, those mean joke. Football, football, no. Badger, 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 yeah. badger, 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 badger. It's a snake. snake. It's a snake. <laughs> Go a snake. I remember you showing me this. Badger, 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 badger. Yeah, so I thought, I thought going bald, I'd be free until I'm grey. Those are grey. It's a great bit of shape. Yeah. Shave, I've got little, little slides out there. Little no, you shaved the whole thing. Just no, because I like a beach ball. I've got to have some facial hair. So, thank you, Lex Luthor style. <laughs> or the hood, someone said from Thunderbirds. <laughs> Kimano. Kimano. No Jeff doesn't know what Thunderbirds are. No, no, no. 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 
Lady Penelope. That's the one Parker. Yes. So, that's what I think. I think there's a little bit of uh, joy to be using conference presentations these days. What? Shall I leave? I didn't do any French in school, I barely did English. Joy to be. I prefer joy to be. Fair. Well, how do you say it again? Schwa. 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 Well, that anyway. translates to what? Joy, I was hoping. Um, but life is it? Yeah. Should have been bitter. What is that in Tiat? So you told me the theatre. Anyway, back to after that commentary. Um, I think there's a lot of places you have a bit of humour and a bit of um, fun with them. And these days, for a variety of reasons, that seems to be uh, run out of And they can get a little bit dry. They're all right on. I saw you ask the Twitter sphere what they would like you to Yes, you yes. Response on that? For one or two people. Yes. So, um, it's not a good sample size. Not a good sample size, but they were good. Dave they, Grant and people like that gave you the help as you could. But there was stuff on like the bottom of the chain. But I think it's actually a legitimate conversation to have. Like, back to viral, basically. If you remember when we started, there was no top down permission, top down ADs. So you had to do all that ADs on, almost like really? revolutionary like, guerrilla style. And that's completely far away with bosses declaring their devotion to the agile thing. Um, but I think there's a place for that um, revolutionary viral stuff still. I think it's an topic to talk about again. Because I haven't um, done anything like that in a long time. So maybe something like that. Again, though, I'd like to have a bit of controversy to it. Could you bring a slight um, revolutionary edge to it? Like uh, cells and stuff, and how you work together, and how you don't get taken down. Um, so I've got some interesting ideas on that. But uh, I would be nervous in some of the current climate to perhaps fully express my view. I don't feel I understand that. Well, no, it's fine. No, I just feel sometimes. Um, I've been stunned a couple of times over the last couple of years on humour, where people have got offended. Um, I haven't been offensive, but it's a very specific offence. And so I am more cautious on that now in terms of presentations and conferences, etc. Taking offence is your choice. Yeah, it is, yeah. But it's still as a people pleaser, so. and so, and also, but people can very much use the issue, so I, I don't like that, so, uh, sometimes you have to be a bit careful, but I think sad, because how can you challenge current status quo thinking oh, without challenging some of the basic things? So, I just read Helen's, 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 I feel sad for that, but it's only a temporary thing, but, uh, perhaps as you said before, uh, the world is getting yeah. more assholes. So, 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 so we didn't say that, but I felt that. So I felt being constructive is also a new um, approach to take. Um, uh, interesting. Well, I think we're going to try. I'm not going to say that one. So we're going to try and bring the podcast to you. Yeah, we'll that's submit that. Dream. Would that be a bar cast then? Yeah, there's a yeah, couple of kind of... But the hope is that we do some kind of live, streamed and recorded and conference-style session. That'd be good. I know a few podcasts do that. They go do uh, these com- a conference or their type of thing, gatherings, and they'll, uh, they'll have a live one for an yeah. audience and then uh, have that uh, material afterwards. That's Q&A. Yeah, that's Q&A. So that'll be uh, really strong. Yeah. So everybody, you should email and contact the Scrum Alliance and petition for the Agile podcast live from Scrum Gathering New York. Yeah, email, email on that. All you hundreds of watchers at this moment, if you could email the Scrum Alliance and tell them that, that'd be great. It means Jeff will get free conference entry. That'd be good. Or would you put it? You can pay it, but... Here we are. Good down. Okay, so we're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. Oh, sorry, Darren. No, I'm totally totally enjoying this diet coke. Thank you. Come on. Here we are. My apple juice is good. Yeah, is it on here? Yeah, my, uh, my lemonade. Cheers. Cheers.